and welcome back everyone. We are going to do a lot in this video, so yeah, make sure you're all ready to sit and watch this one. It's gonna be a lot that happens, including a cutscene. but I want to talk to him about as many, many things as we possibly can. So if you don't like dialogue, you might want to skip until the next video or two later. Anyway, if you do like dialogue and you do like the story, then keep watching. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Freewood, but I tell thee that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves! Yay. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did, down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all, immortality! But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> Granted, people may find me a bit unapproachable now, and the smell does take a while to get used to. 
but it be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. But if you kill Elaine, won't she hate you even more? I at first, but soon she'll be understanding what a grand gift eternal life be. And besides, the dating pool will be surprisingly small when you're the living dead. She'll just have to give me another chance. This whole amusement park, why? The Big Whoop Carnival was my most brilliant idea. Once I had the power of Big Whoop at my command, I could make Elaine mine at last. I see. But again, why an amusement park? I'll be getting to that. I knew Elaine would need a little coaxing, and that I'd be needing an army. A horrible army of the undead. Okay, but why an amusement park? Are you going to let me finish? I'm not talking just to hear myself talk, though. You're right. I've been rude. Please, go on. Everyone knows that the life of a season is a long, hard, lonely one. Sailors spend months longing for just a few days' leave. You know what they're looking for as soon as they get into port. Uh... A family-oriented fun park! Oh, that. <laughs> of course. They come to take a ride on a giant roller coaster, the Great Monkey Mountain. They reach the top of the highest peak, and then hands in the air, screaming like monkeys. They plunge down the slope into a great stream of lava. That doesn't sound the least bit fun. Aye, it's not. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when they reach the other side, they're fitting warriors for my skeletal army of the damned. How did you find Big Whoop? That'd be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Aye. Go on, then. Back when I were alive, Elaine despised me. No. No, 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 it's true. I can see that now. She didn't like me at all. But I were determined to prove me worth to her, you see. So, I set sail to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Been there, done that. Well, I did it first in the various Nuda Branch. A few days after setting sail, my ship was caught in a terrible typhoon and was torn apart. I would have drowned, but some friendly sharks found me and set me ashore on Blood Island. There I was, marooned, with no hope of winning Elaine's heart. I thought my luck had run out, but one day a ship made port at Blood Island. It was the ship of one Captain Marley, Elaine's own grandfather. I struck up a conversation with Rum Rogers Sr., first mate on the ship. And for the price of a few drinks, I learned that they had the map to the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Although I had no ship and no money. Hold on. You know, you could make a fortune as a sleeping ant. Although I had no ship and no money. I planned to beat Marley's crew to the treasure and take it for myself. I didn't have the money to buy a new ship, but I still had my greatest asset. The ability to kill bugs just by breathing? But I still had my greatest asset. That uh, indefinable Chuck Charm. One of the rich young debutantes on Blood Island was helpless against it. After a week with me, she would have followed me to the grave. Unfortunately for her, she didn't get the chance. I tried the diamond from her family's engagement ring and sold it to some cutthroat smugglers for the cost of a new ship. You scum! Hmm, I've been called worse. With my new ship, I easily overtook Marley's crew and beat them to Big Whoop, which just so happened to be here on Monkey Island.
What is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island? I could tell you, but I'd rather make you guess. That the guy's girlfriend is really a man? Now you're just being foolish. No, it goes much deeper than that. It's an ancient secret, closely guarded uh, by the natives and pirates who happen to... You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not really. All right, then. I'm still confused about the carnival. Then ask me. As designer and founder, I can answer all of your questions. How did you build an amusement park on a deserted island? The process begins with a winning design team. I scoured the Caribbean, looking for the best and brightest artists, engineers, and creative people. After a lengthy period of intensive recruitment, intimidation, <laughs> and murder, I had my team at work, slashing and burning acres of old growth timberland on monkey and dinky islands. That must have been back-breaking work. Aye, that it was. Fortunately, hundreds of men were lost to malaria, wild animals, or construction accidents. <laughs> what kind of attractions do you have? Here at Big Wolf, we pride ourselves on the variety and authenticity of our attractions. We be using a magical blend of art, technology, and indentured servitude that we like to call Dynamo Monk Electrics. Frighteningly realistic skins and other body parts are attached to a framework of gears, servos, and pulleys, all constructed from a remarkably lightweight composite material. Fascinating. How do you power all the rides? That'd be a good question. As you may already know, the power of Big Whoop be derived from its position as an infernal nexus, binding our world with the unholy manifestation of evil itself. Well, of course. But like all fuel sources, it can't be lasting forever. That's why it'd be our job to conserve its demonic power wherever possible and look to alternative power sources. Solar? No. We tap our greatest natural resource. Monkeys! My word! Hordes of ruthlessly trained monkeys are hidden away deep within the bowels of the park, bound to immense machines of destruction and family entertainment. That's so inhumane. Oh, I'm glad you noticed. It be the little touches that make the difference. Mark my words, LeChuck. When I finally defeat you, I'll be sure to set them all free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's in the future for Big Whoop theme parks? The future is ripe with a world of possibilities. I see an entire network of theme parks throughout the world. Each will be unique and incorporate the cultures and customs of its specific area. But all will hold true to the same vision of the original park. A random, wholesale slaughter of the thousands of patrons who walk through our gates. I thought the treasure of Big Wolf was on Dinky Island. Dinky Island be an atoll, just off the coast of Monkey Island. But they be connected by a maze of mysterious tunnels that run under the very ocean floor. So although you dug for treasure on Dinky, when you found me carnival, you were on Monkey Island. <laughs> very tidy explanation. I. I've heard quite enough about your disgusting theme park. What happened to Captain Marley and his crew? Their ship arrived at Monkey Island a half hour after mine. But they were too late to stop me from claiming me prize. And they watched me pass through the port of the Big Whoop. Crape and coward that they were, the power of what they saw overwhelmed them. They fled the island in terror. 
Marley tore his treasure map into four pieces and gathered his crew around him. There was Rum Roger Sr., the first mate, Rapscallion, the cook, and young Lindy, the cabin boy. Marley gave each a piece of a map, keeping one for himself. They promised to guard those map pieces with their lives. I saw to it that they kept their promise. They were the only people alive to know about Big Whoop. Okay, we're going to stop the video here. Um, yeah, we're going to stop the video here. We'll continue more t tomorrow. We'll ask the rest of these questions, and we should actually advance further in the game, so I won't make this a double thing for today. But yeah, tune in tomorrow to find out more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.